A local school district consists of 1,000 boys and 900 girls. The superintendent wants to take a sample of 50 students. Match the correct sampling method with each scenario. On the left hand side we have the scenarios and we have some different sampling methods on the right hand side. The first scenario. Separate the boys names and the girls names and randomly select 25 from each. So we're gonna uh, separate, you've got the the boys and the girls and in two different groups and, and you'll take 25 from each of these. Now within each group it's random however because we don't have the same number of boys and girls and in the boys you've got a thousand you have uh, chosen 25 out of a thousand in the boys and in the girls you've chosen 25 out of 900. So we can say that not every student every boy and every girl individually but uh, separated, but every student all combined, combining the boys and girls, not every student has the same chance of being chosen. Uh, girls have a slightly higher chance of being chosen because you have fewer girls from which to choose. Uh, regardless, this is a, sampl a, a sampling method. It's not simple random sample. It's actually called the stratified, stratified sampling because we've put these two groups into two strata and and then from the, each each group we've taken a certain number. The second scenario, assign each student a unique number from 1 to 1900. I'm going to stop right now. That's if you see that that's a good indicator that that's, that is probably going to be simple random sample. But of course, read on, have a computer program randomly select 50 numbers. All right, so that's good. We've got all these students here, all 1,900, and the computer's just going to just pick out, pick out uh, 50 of these. And so this is simple random sample. By the way, simple random sample. That's the best. That is the best sampling method. Okay, by process of elimination, we, don't, we only have two left here, but let's run through each one. List the students alphabetically and choose every 38th student. Every 5th student, every 10th student, uh, whatever it is, if you are choosing by this system, it's systematic. So that's, that's kind of maybe the easiest one to, to remember or to understand because you're just going through and you've got the students lined up or alphabetically in this case and you choose um, every fifth tenth or in this case 38 so that one and then count one two three four five and then on to 38 and then the next one and so on that's systematic sampling now if class sizes are 25 students each randomly select two classes now it's our last choice but let's think about why this is cluster sampling we have already clustered cluster these groups. It's similar to the uh, stratified sampling where you start out by putting the kids into or the the subjects, the elements of the population into groups. But it's different from stratified because you are choosing the entire class or in this case two classes. You could choose the entire um, one or two or three whatever it is but you're choosing the entire group whereas with uh, systematic sampling, I'm sorry, with stratified sampling, you're choosing just some people out of each group. So you start the same, these start the same, the cluster and systematic start the same, but they end differently. So there's a few examples of some sampling methods.